Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a video on how to pack your wedding gown today. I have many clients that are planning destination weddings or getting married just across country, cross state, whether they're packing the dress into their car or packing the dress to carry on to a plane. I'm gonna show you today how to package your wedding gown correctly so you have less wrinkles than you need to put into it and it's easy to re-steam, repress when you get to your destination. You don't have to worry about losing your dress on the way either. First and foremost, you wanna make sure that you're not checking your dress. Why? It can get lost, and the insurance on your ticket never covers the expense of the actual wedding gown. Now, who wants to replace the gown that they found that made them cry or made them happiest, made them imagine themselves walking down the aisle to their groom or bride? Long story short, let's package your wedding gown correctly. Let me show you how to do that. First vital thing is your hanger. You don't wanna be in a situation where your hanger breaks on you. Stores normally get their dresses on plastic hangers and that's how you get your dress. If you'd like to get a wooden hanger, which is something that I highly recommend, request the store sell you one. We definitely always have them on hand to sell our brides. We actually customize them for our brides if that's something that she requests. This is a simple something blue that we added for our brides. So simple, nothing to it, but it's a safe wooden hanger, heavy duty that can actually carry the weight of your wedding gown and it's notched which is very important because some boutique hangers actually don't have a notch and that's not gonna help you in this situation. So you have your wedding gown on the hanger, but how you hang it is very important on the hanger as well. You wanna make sure you're using the straps of your dress, not the, not the actual caplets or straps that you're wearing on your body, but the hanger straps, this is very important. You're taking the weight off the dress straps, caplets, whatever it is, and not stretching them out by using these. These are put into your dresses for a reason. You want to be able to use this properly. This has probably been tailored to your body to make sure it sits in the right place and it's not falling off of you. So when you put money into that alteration, the last thing you want is for the dress to be sliding off of you because during flight or during transport, you had it hanging by those. So use these hanger straps, it's very important. And also, one thing that I always recommend is that you double these up on the notches of your hanger. Why? Less chance of it falling off. And this just reinforces it. If, the, if your dress has these, use them. Very important. You see, all the weight of the dress is hanging off of these straps right here, not on the caplets. So important. So you have your dress on a hanger. Hang it up on the side. Let me readjust my camera for you so you can see what I'm going to do next. So we're going to hang our dress someplace that we could function with it correctly. You're gonna grab your garment bag. It's important to have a cotton muslin garment bag. My wedding gowns, when you purchase a reorder dress or a brand new dress or something that's of a higher price point, they come with these. Most stores sell these. We do sell them to clients that walk in off the street, need a garment bag. We also sell them on it for our clearance gowns. So what we do is we take the gown and we hang it up through the hole in the actual bag. What's nice about this bag is that it's cotton muslin, it's breathable, so your dress is not yellowing in a plastic bag. This is very important. And what's nice also is that you can't see through it. So your fiance or anybody else, they know it's a wedding gown, but they don't know what it looks like. That's a surprise for the wedding day, right? So here we go. We're gonna tuck this dress in correctly. All dresses, well, most dresses have trains. Some longer, some shorter. This one has a chapel length train, which is a longer train. We're gonna tuck away the top first. So we stick them into the top of the actual bag. And now we're going to tuck away the skirt. Let me back this camera up a little bit for you so you can see what I'm doing. So now we're gonna tuck away the skirt of the dress. We're gonna take the corner of the first side and tuck that in first into the corner of the bag, the bottom of the bag. Then we're gonna fold this side in as well. This is a ball gown, by the way, ladies. So it's a full skirt. You have a lot of skirt to put into. I wanted to make sure I used a bigger dress for you so you see how to tuck it away correctly. And if you use a smaller dress, then you'll just know how to do it. It's gonna be much easier. The train is the hard part to most because what you have to do is you have to fold it up correctly. Now, I always recommend that you actually travel with your dress unbustled so it doesn't create a crease across the rear end of the dress. It's just lower then, and it'll be easier to steam up because most of the design is like in the center to the bottom. This is gonna be higher up, but not at the rear. So you're gonna tuck it in by folding it gently into the, by folding it into the actual bag. And you do that. Then you straighten it out. Now what's nice about these bags is that you have room at the bottom for your slip and your bra if you need so you can transport everything in one bag. 
I do not suggest ever putting your shoes into the, the dress bottom, whether you have a slim dress, a tiny dress, or a full dress. Two reasons. One, well, because most shoes have sharp edges and you don't want the shoe to snag your dress. Even if you put the shoes in a shoe box and the shoe box is in the dress bag, boxes have sharp edges. You don't want anything touching your dress that can snag it. So we're not going to put our shoes in here, in a, in a box or not in a box. But what you can put in here, like I said, is your slip. Roll it up, put it in the bottom. You can also put uh, your bra, if you have one, inside the bottom. That way you're transporting everything at the same time. I also like to package my bride's veils in here. These clips, by the way, you can purchase at your bridal shop that you bought uh, your veil at. Something a website won't offer you. <laughs> like this. Okay. What's nice is that you can also put your veil in with the dress now. So, where the hook of the hanger is. You stick this right through that hole and you attach it to the hanger. And you tuck the, you tuck the veil in. And now you can zip it. So when you're zipping the bag, you wanna make sure you put your hand behind the zipper when you're zipping it. That way, none of the dress is getting caught, neither will the veil. Very safe. Don't let anyone else zip this unless they know how to zip it. Zip it to the top. And you are all set. Dress is packaged, so is your veil. At this point, you can carry it on like this, no problem. If they wanna check inside, you open it up yourself and you close it yourself. Remember to stick your hand behind the zipper always. You can carry it on like this, or you could fold it in half and then one more time. And then when you're on the plane, you can put it into the overhead compartment very easily, it'll fit. Or if there's a great crew on your flight, you can also ask one of the flight attendants, I'm getting married, would you mind putting this into your closet? Every one of my clients that had ever flown with their wedding gown was able to do that. But so you have two options, you can stick it into the overhead compartment or you can ask one of your great flight attendants that they could put it into their closets. And there you have it. Your wedding gown is safe. You can carry it around anywhere. These are reusable bags, cotton muslin breathable. They're safe, FAA approved. <laughs> They're gusseted so all your goodies will fit in there. Remember not to pack your wedding gown with your shoes. Make sure you have a wooden hanger and make sure that you're actually putting your hand behind the zipper when you're zipping it up. Also, big deal, because this is going to actually wrinkle a little bit. So don't make your seamstress do a proper steaming at the end. She'll steam it out. For you but if you know you're flying with it you're traveling with it you're gonna have to retouch it anyway so don't be a stickler about that because you're gonna have to redo it anyways when you get on site whatever wherever you land wherever you're getting dressed wherever your hotel or someone that you know is gonna have to help you with that so make sure you have arrangements set up for that so that someone can help you steam it or press it out properly you don't have to worry about the wrinkles of the day of your wedding hope this video helped look forward to seeing you on my next one don't forget to like and subscribe have a great day and safe travels